Hello everyone. I say a blessed and a beautiful day to you wherever you are hearing or watching me from. Um, I just want to tell you that you are beautiful. You are blessed and you have what it takes to be you. And I pray that my prayer is that God will open our eyes to see what we need to live life happily because these things are already with us. They are already around us. I pray that God will open our eyes to see them. And I pray that this year God will give us strength and clarity of mind to find purpose and to walk that path that he has laid for us. I pray that God will hold our steps into greatness, into that great place that he has for you and I. Whatever it is that he wants us to see, to be able to get to that place of greatness, may our eyes be open to it. If it's people that will show us, may those people cross our path in Jesus' name. I pray that the inspiration and power to fulfill destiny, I pray that God will give to us in Jesus' name. And I just want to say thank you to everyone that watched my last upload. Thank you to those that share. Thank you to those that watched. Thank you to everyone. I love you and I celebrate you. I pray that the good Lord will continue to bless you. Thank you for those feedbacks. Um, they were so engaging and so encouraging. And I will still be talking on that today because it was on success and still where it's going to be in series and I want to be talking about it but i just want to let you know that even as we are walking the path of success and as we are you know many people are finding success because the success is already is already there is already around you i pray that that's why i pray that prayer that god will open our eyes to see it because god has a good plan for you god has a good plan for me that those plans they are of good Many people say many things that, oh, why is the world like this if God has planned for us? God did not create us to fail. God did not create us what, to be unhappy. He did not create us to suffer. He created us to enjoy life. He said that he created us to have life, to have life here and to have it abundantly. So God created us to be happy, you know, um, and we can see that in Genesis 1.28. God does not make, give a vision without making a provision. God will not create man to suffer. And Genesis verse, from verse um, chapter 1, from verse 26, it says, you know, then God said, let us make man in our own image. That's one thing I just blessed God for. I said, God, thank you for making me the crown jewel of creation. God made you and I the crown jewel of creation. He made us in his own image. What else did God make in his own image? Only man, only we. He made us in his own image and not only that, according to his likeness. He said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. So we, we are like with God. We look like him. Just the way he has uh, what, what, what we have, our hair from head to toe, is the same way he is. We may not look the same. You know, like, you know, as we individually, even no matter, like I have three children, they don't look the same. And if my mom had it, we don't look the same. So you may not look the same, but we are created the same way. So everything that somebody has, somebody that you see that is successful, has to be what that person is. You also have, and I also have. And that's one beautiful thing. God is no respecter of persons. And also in that 26, it said he created us to have dominion. And that is one thing that I say, God, I thank you for make, creating me to have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the hair, over the cattle, over the, and I say over the cattle, all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. God did not just create us, but he created us to have dominion. So whatever it is, what is that situation that you are facing? What is that challenge? What? What is that difficulty? What is that mountain? What is that valley? That mountain that you think is too high. God has created, created you and I to have dominion over it. All we need to do is to what is to speak the word of God over it. Is to pray over it. Because everything that we need has already been provided. And not only that. After he said God created man in his own image. In his image he created them male and female. He created us and also blessed us to have companions. To have soul, you know, soulmates helpers and in 28 which is the core verse that i want to stress on then god blessed them god created us and he blessed us i said earlier that god does not give a vision without making provision for it god blessed us to be blessed means to be empowered to prosper so that's why you know we say that 
you know, um, success is relative. What you see as success is different from what I see as success. And there is a difference between being successful and being happy. There's also a difference between being successful and being impactful. So it, it encompasses different areas of life. So being, being blessed, God blessed us to prosper. He empowered us to prosper. He empowered us for prosperity. He empowered us for excellence. He empowered us for victory. He empowered us to be fruitful. He empowered us to be productive in every area of our lives. You know that 20 said, God blessed us and said to them, he said, be fruitful and multiply. So he empowered us to be fruitful. So what is it? What is that situation that you're going through that doesn't look palatable? What is that unfruitful situation? What you just need you to speak the word of God into it. You just pray and say, that situation, I don't want it to be like this. Father, you have empowered me to be successful, to be fruitful, to be productive. You have empowered me to be rich. I don't want to live this kind of life. And by the time we know it, that situation of concern moves. That mountain moves. That difficulty gives way. Why? Because we know that the word of God carries power. But many of us, sometimes all we do is just to complain. Instead of praying, we just say, why is this there? You know, complain. Complain would not do anything, would not change anything. Because we have been given that power to what? To have dominion. It says to be fruitful and multiply. That's verse 28. To fill the earth, which we have done. We see how many countries we have in the world. We fill the earth and to subdue. So that's another authority that we have as children of God. We have been given power to subdue, to subdue principalities, mm -hmm. to subdue powers. So let us walk in that consciousness. A lot of people are not where they're supposed to be today because they don't exercise the authority that they have. As a child of God, you have the authority over every situation that is challenging you, that is confronting you. You have authority over it. Just decree and declare the word of God and you see things change in your favor. You see tables turn around in your favor. You know, you command things that you do not want to see. Command it to be the way you want to see it. And that's faith. Because the word of God says that our faith is our victory. So what is that situation that of concern? What is that challenge? What is that situation that is confronting you? Command it. that No, this, I don't want to see you because you are not here. It's supposed to be here. You are not, you did this situation. You are not supposed to be here. You are not supposed to be harassing or embarrassing me. So I mm -hmm. decree by the word of God that says if it's healing you are looking for, it says by his stripes we're healed. You know, if it's a situation that is not supposed to, to be to be there, you know, the Bible says that when people say there is a casting down, I say there is a lifting up, you pray and lift yourself out of that situation. You pray and decree the word of God over it and you see things change. So we have been created, God has a good plan for us and we need to walk in this plan. When we walk in this plan, we see things change. We see things the way we want to see them. Our faith will begin to work for us because our faith is our victory. Your declaration is your victory. Because through the word of God, you declare what you want to see in your life. Faith is, you know, you know, the, the you know, the evidence of things that is not yet seen. You have not yet seen it, but you have that evidence already. And that evidence is what you are decreeing over that situation. Okay? You decree over that situation what you want to see. And from there, you begin to see what you want to see. That is the life of a child of God who knows the God he or she is serving. You exercise faith over fear. You exercise faith over that challenging situation. You exercise faith over that difficulty. And you see things take a different move. You see things turn, turn around. So whatever it is that we need to live life fully, God has given to you and I. God has good plans for us. And I pray that we begin to walk in these plans. I pray that God begin to open our eyes to see opportunities around us and ahead of us. To see people that he has brought into our lives to help us. And he begins to open our ears to hear him. To hear his word part time. What we need to do part time. Where we need to go part time. The step we need to take part time. May we begin to hear God as he speaks to us. And God will speak to us through vision. He speaks to us through his words. All we need is to open our hearts as well to receive his word. Because when we receive his word and his word begins to work on the inside of us, the word begins to, 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 to germinate. The word begins to, you know, yield fruit. And through this word of God as well, we begin to hear him and we begin to see what he wants us to see. So I pray that God will help us because when we live the will of God, we're already successful. We are living a successful life. God has created us for success. He has destined us for success and he has empowered us for success. So wherever you are at, God has not brought you this far. 
to leave you. He has not brought you this far to forsake you. He has not brought you this far to put you to shame. A better tomorrow is ahead. And we hope in Christ, who is our hope for tomorrow and our hope for the future. Thank you so much for watching me. And I pray that God bless you. God be with you until I come.